hello. Uh, please tell me my name and spell it for me so I can put it on record. All right. My name is Spencer. My last name is Laws. It's S P E N C E R. My last name is L A W S. Okay. Day is February 18, 2010, and my name is Vernon Comer. And I am conducting this interview with Spencer Laws for a youth media workshop at Franklin Middle School. And one of the, like the real reasons I picked you, and, and uh, I did not know anybody else on the list. Then I saw your name, and I thought you were related to Samuel Flowers. Um, yes, I. There you are. Yes, I saw you before. Yeah. That's how I recognize you. Really. And that's, next question is, what school did you go through when you were growing up here? Well, I went to several schools. I went to Adair Elementary in Atlanta, Georgia. I went to Jefferson uh, Junior High School, Jaguars. Mm -hmm. I know they probably beat you guys several times. I went to uh, Urbana High School. I graduated at Urbana High School. And actually, I went to Centennial for a year just as well. Um, how was Champaign when you were growing up? Huh? How was Champaign when you were growing up? Very small. <laughs> Small community, a uh, little detail, what do, you, what do you want to really know about? Like, Get me the a different, like, like, how was it, like, was it fun? Was it fun? You mean growing up as a young guy, is that what you want to know? Down here. A uh, lot more freedom than you guys probably have. Uh, we got a chance to play at the parks a little probably later. Uh, crime was very low. Uh, we got spankings by other than our parents. Uh, consist of neighborhood people like our next door neighbor mom. Uh, we're a little bit more, uh, I can say, together with our community, but probably a little bit more than it is today. But overall, I had a very good childhood growing up. And were you born down here? I was born in Chicago, Illinois. Okay. How was Champagne different from today? Uh, it, it's got bigger, so that made a lot of difference, you know, with the congestion of cars and, and schools have got bigger, so you got to have bigger workforce with your teachers, and you got more kids, so you'll have more interaction with different people, different nationalities. And a lot more people from other places have moved to Champaign, so it makes it a little bit different than just having your own culture. Or, you know, you got now you have Native Americans, you have Indians. So right now you're dealing with a lot of diversity, a little bit different than we were. We didn't have a lot of that. We just kind of had, you know, you had your African American and you had your Caucasians or your white kids or your black kids. So that's probably the biggest difference I can see. What college did you attend and what was your major? That's not a fair question. It was hard for me to go to college. I was scared. I didn't want to leave mom's house. I went to uh, Parkland College and I ended up leaving Parkland. I got kind of fortunate. I took some courses in auto mechanic and stuff like that. Got me a trade, what I did. And that trade took me over to the University of Illinois. And I started there when I was 19 years old. And that trade took me to where I'm at today. And I'm finna retire for 30 years in at the university. And I don't owe no one any money, no more. <laughs> <laughs> um, my next question is like, what do you do for a living now? I'm a pipe fitter. Um, what's that? Pipe fitter? Well, I do heating and cooling in buildings such as a school. Uh, I run pipeline such as water lines, steam lines. With the university, it's a steam-driven operation. So I do welding, okay? Welding is consists of joining metals together, and that's a very skilled job that you have to be trained for, uh, for high-pressure steam. You don't want it to blow apart and hurt anyone. So, you know, it's a, it's a trade job. It's not a, it's not a plumber. And a lot of people get that confused. It's not a plumber. I'm a pipe fitter. This one might be too personal, but... That's okay. Are you married like this kid? I'm single, and uh, I have 
two kids. I should know. You know my kids? I've seen them before. Look at them. They look like me a little bit. Look at them. They're, they're young. <laughs> I have my daughter that's 21 years old, living in Indianapolis. And I have a son work at the University of Illinois. Uh, he's 26 or 7, one of the two. I can't leave him alone now. Know why? He pays his own bills, so I have to leave him alone. I, then that way I could forget about paying him, you know what I mean? <laughs> and what are you mostly known for, like, around Champagne and by your friends? Like, what, what, are you known for? what I'm known for? Wait, like, what are you mostly known for by your family and friends? Being a real humble and nice gentleman. And and a single man that's looking for a woman. Can you help me? Man. <laughs> I guess the teachers probably. Hey, no. How much do they make, you know? You have any idea? Probably like $20 an hour. Oh, that's not bad. <laughs> um, did you play any sports while you were in school? Yeah, I played. I ran track. I was actually somewhat of a track star. But I played, I played football for Centennial, and uh, I played basketball for Jefferson. Uh, I did some gymnastics, if you can believe that, and I loved it. I dived for the diving team, swim team, uh, 78, 9, until I had a scare, and it scared me, and I quit doing it. But Centennial used to have a diving team, and they thought I'd be pretty good at it. And I was, until I landed on my stomach. Wow. It scared me, so I quit. But gymnastics, man, that was fun. <laughs> Tumbling. <laughs> Do you have any advice for today's youth and like, any advice for like, teenagers? Like how Champagne was or like, how to get to where you are right now? Hmm, that's a good question. Listen. Listen? Listen. You'll get everything you need to get to that next level if you just listen. That's the advice I give you. Listen and listen to the ones that you believe is going to give you a good answer. Don't listen to everybody. <laughs> listen to those ones that you admire or you see that they have achieved something that you want to be. And is there anything you would change about the way you grew up if you could? Like, why? Man, that's a hard question you're asking me. It's not fair. What would I change? A lot I would change. If we can go back and change things, we'd be changing them every day. Think about it. But I can give you one. I can give you one. Be a little nicer to my sisters. I got some sisters, and I'm going real nice to them. And I wish I could change it. I'm working on that right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? I didn't want them to hang with me too much. They were yucky. So I wish I could change that. Well, uh, that's all my questions, and uh, thank you for um, giving us some of your time. To well, thank you. Me. Thank you for interviewing me. Thank you. You're welcome.